first thing we're going to do, take off the main blades. You have your regular 2.5 millimeter Allen key. Unscrew the blade bolts. Make sure you hold on to the lock nut that is on the bottom. Also, to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to take off the canopy, as well as the battery. Now you want to use your ball link pliers and remove all the links on the swash plate. You can use your hands to do this as well. Just move the links out the way. You can leave them attached. Use your 1.5 millimeter Allen key and we're going to use this to remove the lower main shaft screw that's located right here. Once you remove the screw, you're going to grab the head and lightly pull up. Now be careful because the anti-rotation pin will get caught in the anti-rotation bracket and all you have to do is just pull that back a little bit and pull the rest of the head out. Now that we have the main rotor head and the main shaft removed from the helicopter, we're going to remove the upper main shaft screw, which is right here. And we're going to use the 1.5 millimeter Allen key, as well as some needle nose pliers. Grip the lock nut behind the screw and use your 1.5 millimeter Allen key. Unscrew the screw. And once you have done so, what you can do at this point, you can grab the entire head assembly in your hand, grab the main shaft, should be able to twist it, and it should slide completely out. And that's how you remove the main shaft. Now that we have removed the bent main shaft, we are going to install a new straight main shaft. When you look at the main shaft, make sure you pay attention to the step that's in the towards the middle of the main shaft. You'll be able to see clearly that there is a tapered side and then there's a flat side. And also an easy way to tell is that the long portion of the main shaft goes into the helicopter while the short portion goes into the rotor head. So in order to actually install it back into the rotor head assembly, you take the main shaft and you slide it into the bottom of the swash plate. And once you get it into the swash plate, Guide it through the washout base, which is here. Now, make sure that the guide pins, let me show you here, these pins right here, there's two of them. Make sure that these guide pins line up with the slot that's in the, that is in the washout base, okay? If they do not line up, you'll have difficulty later on. So once you have the main shaft, through the swash plate and the washout base, slide it further into the main rotor hub. All right. Now that you have now that you have the entire assembly on the main shaft, take note of the screw hole here and line it up with the hole that's on the main shaft, and you should be able to see through it. That's how you know it's lined up. And once the holes are lined up. Take the screw that you had originally removed and we're going to reinsert it into the hole. Using the needle nose pliers, we're going to hold the nut into place, like so. And then we're going to use the 1.5 millimeter Allen key and screw the nut into place. Before we insert the main shaft back into the main frame, make sure that the main gear is lined up with the bearings inside the frame. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the main shaft and we're going to slide it back into the main frame. Now again, take note of the anti-rotation pin on the swash plate. Simply pull back the anti-rotation bracket a little bit and slide it in until the stop touches the top bearing. 
And once you have done that, what you need to do is to line up the hole that goes through the main shaft with the hole that's on the main gear. So what you want to do now is you want to put the screw on your 1.5 millimeter Allen key. And now to make things easier, what you can do is that you should put your finger on the back of that lock nut that you had previously installed. This will prevent the lock nut from sliding out when you push the screw through. Take the screw and screw it in. Now that you have the main shaft reinstalled back into the helicopter, next thing you want to do is reattach all of your linkages to the swash plate. And to do this, you simply snap them back onto the balls. And once you have completed that, the final step is to reinstall your main blades. To do this, simply put the main blades into the main rotor grips. Put the lock nut screw onto the bottom. There's a recess in the bottom of the grip similar to the main gear. Hold it in place, slide the screw in, and using a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, simply screw it back into place. Once you reinstall your rotor blades, make sure that they're not too tight or too loose. To give you an idea of what too loose is, just going to show you. You can kind of guess that this is too loose. Your blade should not just fall when you turn the helicopter on the side. Now, you want to tighten this, but you also don't want it too tight. If you can't hold the fly bar and twist the blades, it's too tight. So you want to loosen this up a little bit. This is a little too loose. Still a little too loose. And that's, that's about right. You want to be able to hold the head and with a moderate amount of pressure be able to move the blades back and forth. You want to make sure that's the case for both of your blades. They should have about the same amount of tightness. And once you've done that, you're ready to go.